Once the data has been migrated into demo and you've had a chance to test it, if you're migrating demo, if you're migrating data rather, um, and once we've gone through discovery and configuration, it's really time for you to go live and to get that go live training that we've been uh, kind of discussing. So generally a typical calendar um, looks like this. On Wednesday, we freeze your demo site. That makes, means any changes made to your demo site after that Wednesday um, will not be reflected on uh, your live site. Uh, Friday by seven o'clock Eastern time, if you are migrating data, you've uploaded your final data set. That's all of your data, including what you gave to us before, plus any new data that has been entered since your original upload. All of it all at once in one file uploaded to legal server. Uh, we work through the weekend to spin up your live site, to migrate your data in if you are migrating data. And Monday, by about noon Eastern time, we provide your live production site. Um, at that point, groups who are not migrating da data, you're just gonna do some general testing to confirm that the live site matches your, your demo site, and you're off to the races. Um, that testing for groups who are not migrating data can, is usually done by the end of that Monday. Groups who are migrating data generally expect to be down for at, at least until uh, Wednesday, um, both doing final data validation, um, testing, as well as uh, cleaning up any lookups, and then general testing. We do ask that people do data testing first. Um, if there are any re-imports that are needed, we'll have to do those before you do lookup cleanup or other general testing. Um, just as a quick note for groups who are migrating data, um, your lookups uh, will need to be cleaned up and, and changed around um, as they are impacted by the data that is migrated in. And for both types of groups, any, uh, any document templates that you enter will not carry over to live. We generally suggest two to three staff members are needed, or two to four staff members ra rather are needed for testing. Obviously, if you have a larger data set, you may want to pull in more, more resources. If you have a smaller data set, it may not be as, uh, as labor intensive. During that Monday and Tuesday where you are doing testing, where you are, um, you know, making sure that your data has landed correctly if you're migrating data or just doing general testing. The rest of your staff is in go live training. And then Wednesday is generally where users are, live, are allowed onto the live site. Um, obviously, this calendar can be tweaked, can be changed. Um, we do, however, need about two and a half business days um, to get data migrated into a live site. So please take that into account during any kind of uh, calendaring that you're doing. Um, and uh, just be aware that, you know, that, that final, you know, users are allowed um, into the live site. That's really up to you and to your discretion. Some folks like to give their data testers um, or their general testers a little bit more time. And so they plan that in accordingly. Um, Depending on the contract, sometimes we are in person for go live training or go live assistance. Uh, most of the time, those tr our trainings are conducted via webinar and uh, our team is available by email or by phone for that go live uh, process. We do provide general user trainings and, uh, but we, and we do ask that a representative from your agency uh, actively participate to answer policy and procedural questions. We do discuss uh, kind of our standard training curriculum, really customize that to meet whatever your team identifies as your needs, as well as a, um, as well as a real calendar as to when you want those trainings. We do recommend that they are as close in proximity to your users having access to the live site as humanly possible, but some groups do like to spread those out or calendar those differently, and we are really flexible when it comes to go live training. Uh, just as a quick best practices, if you are funded by LSC or another funder with complex eligibility rules, we do suggest that you run the reports you need up until the period, the time of go live before shutting down or losing access to your old system. So for those of you who do have those requirements, we do suggest you build that into your uh, go live process.